Well, I'd like to say thank you to all of you, uh, and I want to say a special thank you to Fran because it was out here. I was elected after uh, the breed specific legislation was brought in and it was out here that I came out to speak to you and I said well let's do something about it. It was a pretty demoralizing day because it was after uh, you had tried to take a case that had been rejected uh, by the Supreme Court uh, to be reopened. So the question was what next for our dogs? And I, I came and it was totally spur of the moment. I said well let's keep this alive I'll table a bill, and I did, and it's Hershey's Law. Thank you. Uh, and I also stand here out of love. I know that you all stand here out of love. We don't talk about that often enough when it comes to our dogs. I think it's so sad that of all the beautiful dogs out here, only some of them have to wear muzzles. That's sad. Uh, all dogs should be allowed to breathe and pant and sing like every other dog. Uh, So we come here out of love. We come out of uh, out of love for each other and love for our animals. This breed-specific legislation is horrendous legislation, folks. It does it by description because they know as well as you know they can't prove what's a pit bull or not. You just heard that it's ridiculous. So they describe the animal, you know, short hair, broad shoulders, a short nose, certain stature. And I've said it many times, but I'll say it again. The bill would de describe every male politician except for the long tail. We don't know about the long tail because they wear trousers. <laughs> It describes Labrador Retrievers, it describes half of all the mixed breeds out there, and so really what it is is a grudge bill, and it's been used as a grudge bill. Neighbor against neighbor, uh, those who can't defend themselves, a Portuguese grandmother in Brampton, whoever can't defend themselves and doesn't have the money to hire a lawyer to defend themselves, they're the ones that are targeted. This is a terrible bill for that reason alone. I mean, you don't see any more, any, many doors in Rosedale being kicked in, and many dogs from Forest Hill backyards being taken. No, they're not targeting the wealthy. They're targeting you and I, and they're targeting those they think they can get away with targeting. That's sad, too. It's not only anti-dog, it's anti-human, this bill. And let me tell you that Dalton McGinty's government is anti-human, too. We have now officially become the poverty capital of Canada under eight years of liberal majority rule. We are now the poverty capital. We have the highest rate of child poverty, the highest food bank usage, uh, the highest uh, rate of homelessness. This is a sad place for dogs and for humans after eight years of majority liberal rule. So obviously on October 6th, I know you're going to do something about that, aren't you? <laughs> And I can tell you, my friends, that no matter what happens on October the 6th, no matter what happens, Hershey's bill will not die. We will bring it back. And this time, we will win. I'm confident about it because I'm confident that anything less than a liberal majority will give us a win on this bill. The PCs and New Democrats are inside. And since liberals are basically opportunists and careerists, we can get them on side too, if they're not a majority. So that's what we have to do. We have to come together, we have to keep this issue on the front burner, no matter who's in the front seats in government, and we have to go, go along with our dogs until we set them free. Uh, and I will just close with a, with a misquote, because I don't have it in front of me, but a generality of what the quote originally said from Caesar Milan. Basically, this is what he said. He said, first of all, they targeted the German Shepherds. Yeah. Then they targeted the Dobermans. Yes. Then they targeted the Rottweilers. Now they're targeting pitbulls. When will they finally blame the humans? Thank you.